Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do like, I mean, before you like, before you do anything else, like, subscribe, and share. So it is Pride Month, so happy Pride Month. Uh, Taylor Swift released a uh, music video like one or two days ago. Pride theme, so one thing about Taylor is that she has impeccable timing. I think everything she does is very thought out to the most minuscule detail. And the launch of this video was, you know, very appropriate considering it's Pride Month. And whether you like or dislike Taylor Swift, there's one thing that you got to admit is that this woman is very talented. Lyrically, sonically, she is very talented. Uh, I remember I actually bought her very first CD because I like the song, uh, the Tim McGraw song. And I bought it while I was deployed to, in the military. So she was the soundtrack to one of my deployments. And then I also bought the one where Shake It Off is it, and I bought that one. And my favorite song in that album is Clean. I can play that over and over and over and over and over. I wanted it to be a single, but it wasn't. But anyway, she released this music video. I've already seen it, and I love videos with cameos. And this one has a lot, a lot, a lot of cameos. I didn't recognize everybody in there, though. I do like tequila. Never too early for a shot. This video gives me Christina Aguilera vibes in your body. Like 10%. I love that it's a pride theme video, a pride theme trailer, trailer park, pride theme everywhere throughout the video. I don't know who that guy was, but I guess he's well known. But body positivity, more power to you. Love her and Cox, because I recognize her. And well, I recognize Lever and Cox, Tard to Call, The Path Five, Sierra, Tyler Ferguson, Adam Lambert, Ellen DeGeneres, RuPaul, Katy Perry, and Ryan Reynolds. Oh, uh, well, 10 friends. I need to read his book. I like the outfits that the Path Five were wearing, especially Jonathan's, because Jonathan sometimes he dresses like it doesn't match. Some stuff he wears tennis shoes or running shoes with him, like that would have looked better with a better shoe. But anyway, he looked really good in this video. I love the headpiece and the cape he was wearing. I knew these were RuPaul girls because of RuPaul, but I didn't know who was who. And later, after doing some research, uh, the only one that I knew that was there was um, Adore Delano. Oh, these cakes look so good. I'm like, can I have a bite first? And right here, I was not expecting to see Katy Perry at all, and much less in that Moschino hamburger. I love Moschino, by the way, and I love Jeremy Scott. But anyway, this was such a good moment, like, I don't know if y'all were expecting it, but that really made my day just to have them bury the hatchet and no more beef, all puns intended. You need to calm down the name of the song, which I feel like in today's climate, today's society, people take things too personally. They take it, I don't know, like everybody's so sensitive and so reactive. And I think being reactive is not good. You but my even but my most most favorite part about this video is that there was a call to action and at the end of the video it says let's show our pride by demanding that on a national level our laws truly treat all of our citizens equally please sign my petition for senate support of the equality act on change.org which i will be doing right now i just think it's so dumb that in 2019 okay where's the link taylor i can't find it so i don't know if i'm just missing it but the link I don't see the link to change.org, which if you're calling people to action, you'd think that would be like the first thing listed. So it's not, let me go to change.org. Change.org. Change, the Equality Act on change.org. Equality, let me put equality. All right, so I found it. Write your petition title. Oh, I'm not trying to write the title. Browse petitions, maybe? Support the Equality Act. Here it is. It has 314,000. So the petition got signed. It has only over 314,000 signatures. But things is so crazy. I thought it was going to have more than that, considering the video has over 27 million views. But what does this tell me? That people don't really care about what's going on. It's dumb that we have to sign a petition for equality in 2019 when you would think that everybody should be treated equally. There's other petitions here that you can sign, like plastic reduction. Why do we need a 
petition to that become something that needs to change. We know that the plastic is harming the environment and we need signatures for people to take action to that. And then people don't even sign. People haven't even signed Taylor's petition, only 314,000. Maybe we deserve this world we're in because we are literally stagnant, not acting and not doing anything around us. And that's why politicians get away with murder. I don't know if I can say that. Um, but they get away with a lot of stuff because we're not involved and we continue not to be involved. And it's sad because young people should be the most involved because this, you have the longest on this planet. So what's being done is directly or indirectly, but soon it will be very directly, your concern and you're not getting involved. And I think I'm rambling, but thanks Taylor for you know, having the platform and doing things for the better great or better good of humanity, even though most of them don't care. I, I can't believe that there's only 314,000 signatures out of 27 million views this video has. Yes, a lot of you rewatched, but I'm sure more than 314,000 people signed or watched the video. And to have only a, a super small fraction, I'm horrible at math, so I don't know what percentage that is, but it's not enough. Come on, people, get involved. I signed the petition and I'm gonna go through here and sign more. But anyway, tell me what you thought of the video. Watch all the other content in my channel and please get involved. It's our world, let's make it better and let's rescue it. Let's not exhaust all the resources. That's it.